So, I think honesty is it's probably definitely an area that needs some mental work. Um, cause growing up, like I was even just talking with someone today about how, like, I was kind of like a home buddy growing up besides like basketball church and school, but like with kind of like how my upbringing was like Christian wise and stuff and like how morality was for me and stuff. And then like, and then also because I, like I wasn't in a type of lifestyle that like I had to I had to like subject myself to like going with the flow of stuff like I had time to like to hold I don't know that might be part of it like having time to hold myself to like if I was talking with someone and like maybe something was either not honest or not as like like I said something wrong honesty wise or whatever like I would hold that within like hold that in my mind and then like that I have to like correct that essentially in the future like and I would hold on to stuff and like in a sense in a sense there can be goodness to that like you want to have that authority you want to have authority over things to some degree but in a sense that's not good like I should kind of subject myself to some degree to like kind of like the normal flow of things. Like I'm the type of person growing up that like we finish the conversation another like a previous day or whatever. And I like awaken that conversation again. And that's not I mean, you can do that. But like, I mean, I maybe do it too much and maybe that shouldn't. I don't know. It's not that it maybe should never be a thing. But like. It's not for sure to say that that should never be a thing, but, like, I I don't just, like, go with the flow. Like, if we already had a conversation and it's over, it's one thing. I mean, if we're talking about, like, I don't feel, like, emotionally resolved with something, that's something that you got to stand up for. Like, if you within yourself don't feel emotionally resolved with something, then, yes, bring that up. That's a that's legit, I feel like. Um granted even that to a degree it it may take a certain wisdom or development or perspective to be able to subject yourself to like the flow of things in relation to emotions and stuff like that but even that if you can do that if you have the strength or perspective or whatever to do that in relation to like not feeling emotionally resolved with stuff if you can that kind of might be the ideal too but otherwise like you know that that i think i'm okay with maybe like if you emotionally don't feel okay with stuff and then people you know you know if you bring up something again to someone and they're like defensive or kind of make a wall make it hard for you intentionally or unintentionally to talk about again like that's something you got to stand up for like you got to fight for your own equilibrium but honesty wise i gotta learn to more like flow or like subject myself to that flow like a conversation happens and it might depend, like if you are significantly off with something or it matters in a certain way, then you may want to bring that up again and correct it. You know, if someone was really concerned with you, like that one um, woman um, with the different people that confronted me downtown that one night, even though like her main question, like she was off on. But if I remembered something of relevance the next day, that might be something that if I see her again, that might be something that I may, I mean, maybe ideally, I don't know if I'd have the strength to, but maybe I should like try to like su bring that up because maybe that's, you know, that's something that I remembered and it's relevant. Um, granted, I did message the Facebook person that might be her and that person said she wasn't like... I think I asked her, like, are you the person that, I don't know how I worded it, but I asked her if she was, or how, maybe I can kind of remember how I worded it, but however I worded it, and whether I could remember it if I wanted to, um, it's just essentially something like, were you the girl from downtown last night or something like that? And I messaged the boyfriend of that person, not that I know the boyfriend, but on Facebook, you know, they show relationships. So I messaged that person too. The guy didn't respond, but she said no. 
and then I said like good luck with your journey of love or something but if you are that person I remembered something of relevance and then and then I was blocked so that makes it seem like maybe it was that person but um and I was really scared the other night because I was out um with this friend um at the windbreak and then she brought up someone of the same name and so I thought that's what she was going to talk about or bring up a picture of but it was a different person of that same name that I don't think I know but um but yeah so just in relation to honesty because like I need to it this will be hard for me but to so I gotta be able because like even here there's like one or two things like action wise or whatever that like I stick to on a morality thing of that I either need to bring up I mean one of them might be okay now but like there's just things that like will stick to me and in a sense maybe that's good but in another sense you know maybe try maybe to like see the big picture and not get stuck on little things I don't know you know like little things that I get stuck on or things that may seem potentially a little dishonest or and also honesty just isn't black and white per se like you want to if I want it, like and I was, and another thing that I've thought about in the past is that like I mean or maybe you would say that I've thought of in the past yeah maybe I've thought of something like this in the past is that like honesty shouldn't be like my crutch like it should be like my weapon or my strength like maybe I've thought of something like that in the past like as is I just get stuck on all these like little things and I gotta like be able to be more big picture than that like and I've worked, and in recent days, even besides being here, like, just, um, even with the couple that I was with, um, before I came up here, um, or what, is that, or no, 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 it was not with the couple that I was with before, but with my mom, um, when I, so, before the couple that I was with a couple days before here, the, when I was home with parents, um, like, I went to, like because my dad made these yam balls and that's something he hasn't like he's I don't think he's ever made that before apparently he hasn't maybe he hasn't eaten it or something since he was like 10 or something or I don't know if he hasn't run into it or eaten it or something something he hasn't done in relation to yam balls I guess since he was like 10 years old and he's old so like or older (laughs) you all old yeah old older whatever you want to say but so like and then my youngest brother had just had it's not like there wasn't there was a lot of yam balls and there was like a french toast type thing too but like um my youngest brother had it on his bed had like a couple or something on his bed for a while um and like i kept asking him if he was going to eat it and then he was going to but then i don't think he ended up eating it. like my mom may have clean maybe cleaned it when we were gone or when he was gone and maybe accidentally threw it away or something but like i would have i would have found that ish like i was looking for it in our normal trash can and i didn't find it and if my mom didn't have an issue with me looking in the trash like i maybe would have um even gone outside to the trash can outside potentially like i'm a scavenger and i (laughs) like i like doing that to some degree like i have my own um my own uh parameters of how I operate like if something's partially eaten like if I look I might peek in a trash can like in Fargo or something and if I see um like something partially eaten like as long as if it's liquidy I probably am not I mean that's maybe where I wouldn't do stuff but if something's partially eaten I probably jump into that like I like like that like I kind of like doing that like (laughs) but anyway so I mean but I have my parameters like if something's maybe liquidy like I but actually Okay, if something's a liquid, a partially drank liquid, I will drink that as well. What I, I guess what what maybe I wouldn't have is like if there's like kind of, kind of like a food substance that has liquid to it, then maybe maybe then I wouldn't. I think maybe, but at home though, um, when my mom said you can't eat out of a trash can or you can't eat out of trash or something, I didn't say. I don't think I said okay or gave an indication of agreement but because i because i don't think i gave an indication of like okay like accepting that and even if i i mean like i don't think i did but even if i did like 
but because I didn't say like, I'm, you know, because if I would have said like, I'm still going to do this or something, then I would have felt at peace. But because I didn't like make a statement or like imply that I'm going to keep doing it, it, I guess, feels like I'm lying or something. So like, and then even with my, um, like in relations with petitioning and stuff, my assistant supervisor, um, or yeah, something like that, some kind of like that position, something like that. Um, like she talked to me in person one day because she had to do some like detective stuff in relation to my reputation or like, cause someone had brought up stuff in relation to, uh, you know, my pers like in relation to my Fargo drama, I guess you could say, or whatever you want to call that, but someone had brought stuff up. So she kind of did her own detective work. Um, but like, so fast, and she had left a YouTube comment, but like fast forward, um, like she brought it up in person, like, and she said, like, you haven't, you haven't, like, you haven't done anything or something. She said something like that in the comments too, um, that she left. And like, I didn't respond to the comment, but even though, and again, this is as far as very able or being able to focus or appreciate things like here's someone who's actually being a detective and stuff, which is the, you know, I like the ideal kind of, but because she referred to my thoughts as stupid, that's what I like stuck on in that comment. But, um, in person though, fast forward to in person one day, um, like she was working with someone else and then I was going to be working with someone else or something, but we like, cro but I like went by her and stuff. And like, um, um, but like she asked if like I'd seen the comments and, um, and then I kind of explained, I think I kind of explained how it like put me in a funk or, or kind of that it affected me. And, but, uh, but at some point in her talking, she said, like, from what I've, like, you haven't actually done anything. And she mentioned how it was like disturbing because she, she knows she knew Jupiter um, so she said, and she said like, um, that at one point in her talking, she said like, and granted, even whatever her perception on like in relation to Jupiter or whatnot, you know, she may not have like a full, but I mean, she at least anyway, but, but she did say that she felt that she, she was disturbed by that or something. Um, so that is, that is, that was her perception or that's something that she voiced on that. Um, but, um, but one thing that she said, is like, you haven't actually acted on any of these. And like, I like not or something like that, but like details matter, like little things matter. And so like, I didn't feel at peace with that, with, with, me, with, with that, like her saying that and me not like, because there's de there's like, and the, and granted at least like some de details i can kind of figure for my own but there's one which maybe she would have already seen the video for but there's one that like potentially could count as something so that's something that i like feel like i should maybe bring up um but like and i kind of before she left that day like i kind of tried to like explain and we already moved on to a different like we already passed that so she didn't know what i was talking about at first but like i tried to like um to like and the, and then I t kind of told her what I was talking about but I was trying to say like how I don't know maybe I was trying to say that I'm insecure or um or detail oriented I maybe would have said something about being insecure in relation or I don't know just trying maybe trying to explain my mental functioning or something as like in some capacity like as far as insecurity or detail oriented or something um but like so even before like being here and like one or two things sticking on my mind a certain way, like there was a thing with my mom and there was a thing with that assistant supervisor, you could say. And like, I, instead of like contacting, I did end up messaging my mom about that, about the, well, actually see, she messaged me about something else one day. And then I like responded to that. And you know, I'm kind of, kind of trying to be big picture. Like even with responding to her, like I tried to like, be in relation or respond to like what she was saying instead of like taking it to what I'm focusing on. 
but I still, so I kind of tried to like be big picture, kind of like be with where she was or what she was commenting on or talking about. Like I tried to like, but anyway, but I ended up like, so I responded to what she said, um, or at least gave a comment or something. But then I ended up saying that like, I'm still eating (laughs) out of like, I, I mentioned the trash thing. And then I like, we ended up back and forthing on that a little bit or somewhat, um, so it's just, but besides that time that I actually ended up talking with my mom, like in relation to the, to my mom with the trash thing. And then with the assistant supervisor, like I tried to just kind of like be in a big picture or be in like, I don't know. I don't know if you want to call that flow or just like big picture flow or whatever you want to call that, um, or flow of life, something, um, but then, like I said, my mom messaged me one day and then I kind of tried to be like with that conversation, but then I ended up deciding to mention the trash thing. Um, and then like, and then in relation to here, there's two things that I got stuck on. One is in like, I don't like secrets or like when someone like, and there is something that even if it's just a, it's just a little thing of like, this is between you and me kind of thing. And I've tried to kind of teach myself to, like, be able to verbally, like, kind of reject that. It's kind of like if someone asked me to pray for them, too. Like, I kind of, like, verbally reject that, too, because it's weight. I That's a commitment. Like, I'm not someone who's going to say, like, I'm going to do something and then just kind of, like, not do it. There's people that, like, they'll just say stuff and maybe they'll do it, maybe they won't. Like, people's, but for me, my, like, that's, it's a weight and I don't want it. But in this case, I didn't end up saying anything. Maybe I'll bring it up later, but. And it's just a little thing. It wasn't even like a big thing too, but it's technicality and it's weight, I guess, or just uncomfortability or takes me, you know, maybe out of equilibrium a little bit or something. So there's that. And then there's something else in relation to, um, in relation to like, that I wasn't supposed to, um, like rub or like the, the butt of the cats because it had like surgery or something and it like nips when you do that and I don't think I I didn't f- think I had done that yesterday but um but because I didn't maybe I didn't think that was what it was nipping at or something like it just is not equilibrium for me so like I like brought it up um and then like I still like am feeling like that's still testing that boundary or feeling like that's not why the cat nip but or actually not the cat, sorry, the dog, um, who's, who's getting along with me more now, by the way, but, um, but, uh, but, like, there's a point today where, like, I, where, like, I, like, went in that direction a little bit, and it did, because earlier today, it didn't nip when I did that, and she's done that, and it hasn't nipped, um, but, like, earlier today, like, when I was walking or something, like, my hand ended up going, like, in that area, like, the top, I get, like, before the tail, like, so I, I mean, that's kind of the butt area, I guess you would say. Um, so earlier today, it didn't seem like that was a problem, but like later on today, I was kind of doing that. And then it like seemed like it was going to nip at me. So that maybe is a thing. So now I feel kind of more equilibrium with like, okay, that is a thing kind of thing. Um, but my not being equilibrium would be in relation to like if I did that after she had said to not um or something like that then I need to like potentially communicate or something um it's just like when people people make like um strong statements and like for other people like if someone's like don't do this or whatever like you know maybe they'll just listen to it for now and not do it when the person's not there but like if someone like overly push things and like i've noticed that women are controlling like men can be too i suppose but like that so it can just be too much for me like i want to know the truth of things like is that the reason that she nipped or is it not because it didn't seem like it but it might be even though i didn't i wasn't aware i don't like i don't know if that was the reason yesterday but but today, I think it seemed like she was going to nip. So so I even verbally said, like, oh, maybe that is. Um, so hopefully she heard me because then that would make me be in equilibrium with, like, that I expressed that to her, like, the person, not the dog. 
So I just, even with the idea that like I have to say, I mean, I guess there's been points in 100 Days of Purpose and Consequences and even, um, you know, maybe even past that, that it's not like I say everything on here, but I've said, I put a lot of my mind, heart, between heartfulization and this, like I put a lot this here in my YouTube stuff, like here and in heartfeltization. There's encouragement for you. There's like, there's philosophy, there's whatnots, and there's long videos too, but some of them are short. Um, but like, hopefully you kind of get the gist of who I am the more you dig. But, uh, and maybe one day I'll be in such a position that people care about looking at my mental or my encouragement or whatnot. Um, or my encouragement to you or my inspiration to you or whatnot. It's a, it's a, it's a gone world. It's a, like, and there's something about here, like experiencing like this, like this person and, um, that's like, has its own data or its own lesson or its own thing to be understood. And like, granted I've been in other people's homes <laughs> like I've ro been roommates with people in the past and like and then I, and I've been in you know di but you learn I don't know even just being here for like a few days in addition to like occult and Halloween stuff and s most of which is actually cool but there's also just stuff in like learning of her life and stuff like also offers a certain truth that doesn't just apply to this house, you know, like, I get there's different shades of struggling and there's different shades of humanity to like kind of understand or something. Anywho, so yeah, so just, I mean, in relation to honesty, but in relation to other stuff too, to just kind of be more big picture, like, you know, today I kind of tried to get myself to remember with, like, the last couple that I was with in Fargo a couple of days, like, that, like, I was able to, you know, the stuff that happened with, because I was up with, in relation with that couple, like, the Descendants thing was something that I'd been upset with and, like, how, you know, stuff had been, you know, how stuff happened in those directions and just, I just kind of, I don't know what all variables I thought of, but, like, at least the Descendants thing I think I would have thought of, but just... Because when I get stuck on things and feel like they have to be resolved, then you're losing the big picture. And like, even if it's something that I feel like I'm committed to, like honesty, but honesty is not a black and white thing. So, you know, just kind of got to have the maybe maybe it'll be developing a certain like strength or heart of honesty. But. Like and then kind of like I said I think I've thought of in the past like honesty should be like a strength not like a crutch kind of thing and like it's just and you know maybe to have the strength to be like I don't want to talk about that because like meeting her dad earlier like I was like nervous because like I have you know the Fargo stuff and and like and it didn't end up going in a direction like that, but like, or it didn't end up, I mean, I didn't end up talking, I did end up talking about how I was dismissed from my counseling program, but that wasn't dug into. So like, if it, if in conversing with someone, as far as honesty, like if it goes somewhere that you don't want to, you can just be like, I don't want to talk about that. And like, or something, I don't know, like communicate, like not to be like, aggressive defensive about it but just to communicate that and even even if someone like pushed on that that might be okay like i might either understand or be okay with that and maybe i'd still say no or maybe if they push a certain way like maybe i'd either maybe try to i don't know like you maybe it end up being i don't know maybe direct them in a way that like is more comfortable for me on that topic or could also i don't know i don't know but like it's not if I were to put up like a, I don't feel comfortable with this and someone were to push on that, depending on how they pushed or like, you know, maybe I, like that doesn't me being not say, or saying that I'm not comfortable or that I don't want to talk about something doesn't have to be the end of that. Um, I feel like people are just kind of over or like, or excessive with their, like just 
unnecessarily placing boundaries or like never do this or don't do this when like those boundaries can be adjusted some like those don't need to be there like there can be more um playroom i guess or something but yeah just to be able to be more big picture i guess and in relation to honesty that's one place of interest um and because then you could be made like excuse me something could have just happened yesterday something could have happened last week something could have happened in a previous chapter of life and you're just getting stuck on these certain obsession points like i need to like be more big picture in relation to honesty in relation to other things um and just in a way maybe subject myself more to the flow of things because like like i said when i was younger if if something if i wasn't exactly honest or something or if, like if i didn't feel comfortable with the honesty of something like i would reawaken that conversation that was i mean that was the thing and like and it's not easy for me to like i don't know there's things that you want to have authority over or take charge of and and maybe something like how i used to do when i was younger you know maybe to some degree that's okay but like that's an area where maybe i need to like subject myself to like the flow of things more kind of or maybe even just there may be an opportunity that in conversation another thing is to just be like ready i guess if you know something is important to you so that you can enter like come in at that angle like maybe in a coming talk or conversation there will be an angle for you to interject the thing that's important you to bring up again i don't know but i just get stuck on things we all get stuck on things <laughs> and we all maybe need to like like be more big picture see more big picture and appreciate certain things or notice certain patterns that maybe are negative or positive i don't know even in relation to like emotional cycles of like happiness and then being upset like we're in that cycle of emotion but to maybe see big picture i don't know i don't know besides honesty there's other things to like take it big picture with And, like, I'm committed to honesty and morality. So, like, if I don't, you know, make those things work, you know, if, like, I'm committed to honesty, like, I'm supposed to, but I still might need to, like, subject myself to, like, the flow of things to some degree or something.